All right, welcome back to uh, another educational video on the note business. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about some typical deals that you can look forward to when you get into the note business. Uh, this is a deal that we purchased, I want to say, 10 years ago. And it was a first mortgage on a property in South Carolina. Uh, the borrowers were not paying at the time that I purchased this mortgage. It was a, uh, like I said, it was a first mortgage property in South Carolina. The husband was laid off as a truck driver, and the wife had steady income uh, working at the hospital, I believe, in the maintenance department. So they were getting the cash flow enough to survive, not enough to pay their mortgage. Uh, we came along and purchased the mortgage from the bank at a serious discount because uh, it was not the nicest house in South Carolina. It, it had a decent monthly payment. I believe on the note that the monthly payment was supposed to be $665 a month. We found out that the borrowers, uh, the, like I said, the husband was laid off as a truck driver and we just started making, uh, collecting monthly payments, I believe in the very beginning of $350 a month just to get something rolling in the door. Getting that cash flow rolling into the door helps us keep our lights on, helps us pay our staff, helps us uh, put food on the table. Uh, after six months of monitoring and talking to the borrower, the husband did actually get a, another job as a truck driver. Uh, apparently, this was going to be seasonal work, and he would only work during the summer months. So I guess it was from April to October or something like that. During April to October, we increased the monthly payment to about $700 a month, $675, I think, something like that. And then in the uh, fall and winter, we would lower the monthly payment down to $400 a month. Kept them in their house, kept them busy. If the husband was able to pick up a little bit of work, then they had some extra money that they could put into their pocket for a rainy day. And uh, they became uh, like like family, like friends of ours. Because I would call up and say, hey, you know, we're going to, how are you making out? We're going to uh, go ahead and lower your monthly payment for the season. And they were always happy to hear from us. And um, that mortgage just recently paid off. So that thing's been paying us for literally 10 years. Uh, little did I know that when I got into this business that I would have something that would last that long. Uh, 10 years is a long time to collect someone's monthly payment. It was a beautiful thing for us. Uh, it was easy. We felt like we were doing the homeowner a great justice by working with them and keeping them in their home. I got to know the daughter, and uh, I got to know the husband. Uh, the husband just recently passed away. And so, like I said, we've been working with these people for almost 10 years. We got to know them. And uh, the wife just finally paid off the mortgage in full. 100%. She thanked me for everything that we did. And everybody wins. Everybody won on that deal. The bank won the day that we bought that mortgage. The bank was able to write that mortgage down every month until they got to a, pur a price that we could purchase it at. They write it down, write it down every quarter, every quarter until it's basically zero. Then we come in and give them, I think we might have paid seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars for that mortgage. Uh we probably collected over seventy thousand dollars on that thing. And we were able to win. We kept the borrower in a the house. They were able to win. And uh so now they own that property free and clear. And we sent their mortgage satisfaction and it's just a beautiful thing. So that's what it's like in the first mortgage space. Um uh, it, a typical second mortgage, when we buy a second mortgage, uh, things are a little bit different. The monthly payments are usually lower. So a typical second mortgage uh, repayment plan, we might get a payment of, let's say, 375 a month, and it would be going forward for the next 30 years. So... I'm 60 years old right now. Uh, I just did a, a workout the other day, and I, I told my wife, I says, yep, I'll be 90 years old when I collect that last monthly mortgage payment. 
the cash comes in to our house, to our P.O. box, uh, steadily, whether we're on vacation or not, whether we're home, uh, just enjoying ourselves, or I don't even typically have to be alive to collect these mortgage payments. There's not many businesses that you can enjoy a cash flow coming into your post office mailbox, and there's no maintenance. There's absolutely there's really no maintenance to it. Uh, our overhead is is next to zero, and we collect these mortgages like we're collecting uh, monthly cash flows. Multiple streams of income is really that's the way it goes. When you can have multiple streams of income. And that doesn't mean going out and getting a second and a third job. I'm talking about collecting monthly income into your bank account, whether or not you work, whether or not you're retired, or whether or not you're alive. So thanks for tuning in. That's a couple of typical deals. Uh, we'll catch you on the next video.